after knowing all. I started an interesting thread also I thought at Reddit uh, recently, uh, can chess videos be better than chess books for learning openings? Um, and it is actually based actually not on trying to flog in any way, shape or form my opening videos on YouTube, which as you know are given for free to everyone. It was actually uh, based on the idea that you know sometimes even in openings you're not going to play yourself, you can learn stuff from the middle game. And in particular, there's Marin's book, which has been mentioned to me uh, for the English opening, which I'm I'm thinking of of getting. But my experience so far of Avrook, I haven't really given it much time and effort. I, it's just been lying around on my bookshelf. Um, so it's an interesting debate. Uh, some of the responses, uh, maybe you know, more interesting than others, if you want to look uh, through uh, the discussions. Um, you know, I've tried to be really as honest as possible in in my my thoughts. As I say, um, I wasn't really trying to push uh, this channel's opening uh, videos, uh, but actually, you know, as a chess player myself, still active playing for two chess clubs, I do myself uh, want to improve my game, and it's kind of a responsibility, I think, as uh, someone doing chess videos to try and improve my own game to be able to share insights with you guys. So that's why I am interested in still getting a uh, good book so as long as I can get something from them. Now a very good point was made in this thread about passive learning. A very very good contributor to the thread, I Chungle, who I respected um, um, most of his points but I questioned at one point about informatic symbols not being particularly useful to me. But the point which stood out was about passive learning. And I think it really depends on how you watch a video. If you uh, try and interact with other online resources, etc., or databases uh, to interact more with the video content, then maybe it becomes less passive. Uh, so I think if any um, major insight was gained from this discussion, I think this is it about passivity. Uh, so with any computer-based resources, sometimes you have the potential to more easily perhaps uh, investigate and put for an engine or practice board online on another screen or on your computer or another window uh, the variations which have been presented to you but if you were just reading a book say in bed it's probably more difficult to interact with the content so maybe it's it's actually the secret is how you use um, the video resources if you want to learn openings and you know that point was made here about trying to raise uh, the level of interactivity when you're looking uh, video uh, by by some people I I in response. Uh, for example, uh, Wrighton wrote uh, that he would pause the video, go over stuff he didn't understand, and so you know there's an argument made that you can be less passive with with video content. And actually, um, you know, I was having a, a, a related discussion recently uh, with with my brother about. Um, you know, in the future, will university lectures, will everyone still be going to lectures or will they, will they be looking at videos? Of course, lectures bring together people um, uh, and they're more motivated to listen to a lecture and ask questions and interact with other students and it's all social and it's disciplined and everyone can be at the same point in every space part in time during that course. So I don't think lectures are going anywhere anytime soon. Although like YouTube EDU are recording lectures and videos, but really you need to be you know, in that environment, in that disciplined environment, to have maybe the motivation, the stimulation, uh, to follow through. You know, where where you're at on all the different courses you're on. So I don't know. Videos are not the be all and end all, and it's probably how we use them in like a passive or non-passive way, which adds greatly to their effectiveness. And so I bring this up really because you know I hope that the recent uh, dual commentary videos with Paul Georgiou have been um, interesting and informative. Uh, on on the YouTube channel, uh, and please you know chip in on this Reddit thread, which I think is very interesting. Some very interesting points were raised here, so I'll put the thread link in the description of this video. Okay, thanks very much.